so sure. In fact, one concussion expert says that the team's officials should go to jail for letting him on that field. It's a scary moment during Thursday night football. A star quarterback's fingers suddenly freeze and curl up. It happened after Miami Dolphins' Tua Tungabailoa was sacked on the field. Millions watched live as Tungabailoa's head was slammed into the turf, and his fingers went into a so-called fencing position, an involuntary response to head trauma. Uh-oh, Tungabailoa is still down. When that response, a fencing response is involved, it definitely means that this is definitely not a mild trauma, it's probably moderate, and it needs medical attention. Now, many are asking if he should have been allowed to play at all. Just last Sunday, the quarterback sustained trauma during the game. Look how wobbly he got. Dr. Chris Nowinski, who has studied concussions in football players, tweeted before Thursday night's game that the Dolphins quarterback should never have been allowed to play. If Tua takes the field tonight, it's a massive step back for concussion care in the NFL. Two concussions in four days it can kill you can end your career. I just felt I had to say, this is, we're watching a slow motion car crash. Like, this is awful. He shouldn't be playing. And unfortunately, I was right. The NFL has considered using padded helmet covers like these to reduce the number of head injuries. But so far, they're only seen in practice by a handful of teams. The Guardian cap, it's a, it's a one-size-fits-all helmet. There's a Velcro strap in the back that you just pull tight depending on the size. is underway to determine if the Dolphins followed proper procedure in letting Tua play after Sunday's injury. The coach says they did.